In this video, you'll learn how to use the U of T GPA calculator to calculate your cumulative, sessional, and annual grade point averages, or GPAs for short. You'll want to use this tool if you're curious to see what your GPA may be once your grades for courses in progress are posted, if you're trying to get into a competitive subject post, or maintain a certain GPA to get a scholarship. Before we start, have your grades on hand for reference. They're located in your Complete Academic History on ACORN. When entering grades into the calculator, include failed courses and exclude extra, credit no credit, and late withdrawal courses from your calculations. Keep in mind that you can view tips for how to use the calculator at any time by clicking the question mark icons next to the step 1 and 2 headings. First, I'll show you how to calculate your cumulative GPA, which is the weighted average of all grades earned throughout your degree. Start by entering your CGPA and current number of credits earned from ACORN into step 1 of the calculator. This step is optional. You can enter all of your grades manually into the academic period containers, but calculating your CGPA this way is faster. For this example, we'll say that it's now the middle of summer, and we want to predict what our CGPA will be after we get our fall and winter grades for next year. This academic period 1 container will act as the fall term. We can enter all of our estimated grades in this container, or add another one that will act as the winter term. I'm going to show you the latter method. I've entered my estimated fall marks in academic period 1 and winter marks in academic period 2. Grades for full year Y courses that are worth one credit are calculated in the winter term, so they should be entered in academic period 2 in this case. If you enter grades for both the fall and winter terms in academic period 1, you can safely ignore this blue message. As you enter your grades, your sessional and cumulative GPAs will update immediately at the bottom of the container. Next, I'll show you how to calculate your sessional GPA, which is the weighted average of all grades earned in a single fall, winter, or entire summer session. That means both summer subsessions. Enter all existing or expected grades for a fall, winter, or entire summer session into one academic period. This could be in either academic period 1 or academic period 2. Up to you. Your SGPA will update at the bottom of the container as you enter your grades. Finally, I'll talk about calculating your annual GPA, which is the weighted average of grades earned for your fall and winter terms. Summer grades should be excluded altogether. If you've added two academic periods like I've done here, and added fall grades to academic period 1, and winter grades to academic period 2, you get your AGPA automatically at the bottom of the academic period 2 container. And again, make sure that any full year Y courses with a weight of 1 are entered in academic period 2 because you'll get those grades in the winter term. And that's it. You can find some helpful academic resources below the calculator itself. If you have questions or feedback about the calculator, please let us know by clicking the Send Feedback button at the bottom.